Okay, so today we've checked into our engineering at the recommendation of Nasty Pot Flow. So we're going to put the car on a dyno with the new cylinder head on with stock internals and we're going to see just how much of a difference the cylinder head has made, okay? So our engineering is a very, very recommended shop, very well known shop. They're full of race cars and the caliber of machinery they have in here is next level. And we're going to see how just how it goes. So we're strapping the Euro R down. It's a Dino Jet Dino. And yeah, so let's take a look at the number of cars we have over here. Let's take it for a small tour. You can see just how crazy a racing FD2R is. Basic interior. Yes. Let's check this out. Different functions. Very, very basic. wipers you know and a Motec ECU to show the engine parameters over here master switch probably a kill switch or so you know? engine fan water pump transmission pump oil coolers fuel pumps gear shifter I'm not sure what that is but uh, And of course the mandatory fire extinguisher. Civic EK, another FD2R. And then the cars that our engineering is famous for, the GTRs. 34. Beautiful 32 here and I really do think this is in original condition, you know. It's beautiful interior. Telling you, it's this car's all original. I'm pretty sure it's for sale. I'm pretty sure. Nvidia exhaust. Take a look at that. Oh, wow. Yes. Sorry for the tired face. So the idea with the tune is to get a. Take, of course, we'll take a baseline run to see where the car is currently at for us to get an idea of just how much the car has improved uh, the car had about 240 crank horsepower when uh, with the previous tune so with this ported cylinder head we, we can expect gains up to 10 or 15 now to validate that is why we're here so, so far by myself I can feel there's a significant improvement throughout the rev range you know there's, there's power everywhere uh, as opposed to uh, before with the old cylinder head and I've also done piston rings so I think we can expect up to 10 to 15 horsepower again but uh, let's validate that with some actual data okay
Okay, so the tune is done and uh, we have gained we have gained a significant amount of horsepower just from the uh, cylinder head. We've gained almost 18 wheel horsepower which is more than I was expecting. 18! Okay, so we're done with the dyno test and uh, uh, like I said earlier, I was only expecting it to pick up realistically uh, 10 to 12 horsepower but it's picked up 18 WHP from what it was which is I'm very surprised I'm very surprised because it's a stock engine and yet its figures are really impressive so this is something a lot of people can consider when you're thinking of upgrading your K series K20 you know uh, uh, whichever engine that you have a, a good cylinder head pot is going to help you gain power everywhere and uh, it might be an alternative to the usual camshaft upgrade and uh, the injector upgrade so maybe you might want to try to CNC port your cylinder head as, uh, along with your injectors and your camshaft and that will result in an even more substantial gain in horsepower so I uh, hope this has been very insight insightful to you to you all you know it's it's been about one and a half months since uh, I started this whole uh, since we fitted the cylinder head in the first place and um, it <laughs> on the road I felt it picked up power everywhere I didn't expect it to pick up this much really you know so this is something I can recommend to everyone and thank you very much to Nasty Port Flow and R Engineering for making this possible so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to proceed with the road tune right now and uh, we're just going to uh, fill in any gaps that need filling in What's up guys, I'm back in Singapore and uh, I just had a haircut so I look much more presentable on camera, you know, roughly than the old scruffy self. Alright you guys, I'm back in Singapore uh, in my friend's car park and... <laughs> Fuck! Alright you guys, I'm back in Singapore and I just got a haircut, thankfully, uh, but that's not the point. The dino sheet. So let's go through the results of the dino, alright? So here it is, these are the results, okay, so the red lines represent the baseline or the tune that uh, the car had. Uh, basically what happened there was it was with the old tune that I just simply bolted on the head and it sort of readjusted itself, okay. And the blue line is what came out of today's, after, out of yesterday's fettling, alright. So these lines right here, these two lines represent the torque curves, okay. Now it is currently set to 3,300 RPM and it goes all the way up to uh, 180 Newton meters of torque as you can see on this axis. Right? The new tune, just underneath 3,000 RPM, it starts to go up to 184 Newton meters of torque. And then it goes over here where the VTEC is set to 5,000 RPM, is what I'm, uh, what I'm suspecting. Both the torque and the horsepower starts to climb and peak torque happens at 5,000, between 5,800 and 5,900 RPM, okay, and it peaks out at 206 Newton meters of torque, is what I'm, is what I'm uh, suspecting. And then it goes down to the ref limit at 8,500 RPM. So now we go to the horsepower curve. The horsepower curve over here it starts at the same point but overall it shows an overall improvement peak horsepower happens at 882 at 216 wheel horsepower so and the rev limit is set to 85,000 rpm it shows an overall improvement and I'm really really happy because the car is not as uh, it, it's very easy to drive um, it feels like a bigger engine <laughs> than a 2 liter to be honest with you. So there you have it, the official results. Okay, so I am working on a big, uh, on, a, on a more comprehensive video with, uh, it's going to be put up on Insta TV. It's going to include this data and I'll probably put it up later today, you know, so you can catch up on everything. And uh, I really do think that this cylinder head job is worth it and it does, um, I, I do believe that it is truly an alternative for uh, people who want to pursue more reliable horsepower